Hello, in this video we are going to look at an example of a ring. We're going to look at the ring of integers. Just really briefly, just uh, explain what it is, talk about why it's a ring. Um, so the integers uh, form a ring. We can denote this ring by the following triple. So the set of integers, uh, the operation of addition, and the operation of multiplication. A ring is a set with two operations. Okay. Um, the first condition is that um, this set together with addition forms an abelian group, and it does, right? So the integers under addition are or is an abelian group. So Z is, is an abelian group. It is an abelian group. That's two words, not one word. Handwriting is deteriorating. Um, two, the multiplication is associative, so basically that means that you should have, for all integers, you should have x times y times z equals x times y times z for all x, y, and z, and z, which is true, right? I mean, they're, they're integers. And three, um, you have to have uh, distributivity, so x times y plus z is x times y plus x times z. Likewise, x plus y times z is equal to x times z plus y times z, just like that, right? So these, these are called the distributive laws. So these are really important because they connect multiplication and addition. So this is certainly a ring, okay? It's certainly a ring. So um, it's the integers, right? Just to make, make, just to make sure it's clear, so dot, dot, dot. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 you know, 4, 15, all the number, all the whole numbers, positive, negative, and 0. So, yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Take care.